Scotland coach Andy Roxburgh seldom has the chance of seeing World Cup opposition on home territory. Last night, the visit to Dunfermline of Bordeaux, wearing dark blue shirts and in some cases black tights and matching gloves, proved a perfect spying opportunity. On display were midfielders Jean-Marie Ferrari with 22 caps and Dominique Bijoutin with four appearances in the A international side, as well as defender Alain Roche, an international trialist. The unfortunately named keeper Dominique Dropsy was a star of the Argentina World Cup finals in 1978. And midfielder Jean Tigana with 51 caps reckons he's had enough of international football. Zlatko Vitovic with 50 caps has been Yugoslavia's top league goalscorer and his twin brother Zoram capped 32 times should also face Scotland in group 5. Bordeaux took the lead in 17 minutes when a Norrie McCarthy pass back proved too strong for keeper McKellar. But Dunfermline's equaliser, 15 minutes later, thrilled the 6,000 crowd. Mark Smith burst into the box and gave Ross Jack the easiest of chances. There was no further scoring, but Dunfermline won the Challenge Cup five foreign penalties, with Anderson netting after Ferrari shot wide. Afterwards, Andy Roxburgh gave his assessment of the internationalists on display. Well, obviously, they're very skillful players. Uh, and Dunfermline did very well against them. But uh, this is during their close season, of course, and you could see that one or two of them weren't exactly sharp. But uh, the touches are all there. There's obviously ability. Uh, I don't want you to give away any state secrets here, but obviously there were some factors you picked up tonight. Well, you can't watch the players enough. I saw France play on uh, last Friday night, and I've got a general picture of their players. And the fact that there was a few of them playing there tonight was of interest to me. The Bordeaux manager, Didier Cuicou, with interpreter Ian McLeod on hand to help translate, summed up French opinion of Scotland's chances of qualifying for the World Cup finals. And uh, we hope uh, at the final is uh, for the uh, World Cup, there is the France and uh, the Scotland. It's my wish. Do you think that uh, Scottish football and French football are both strong just now, or has French football been stronger in the last couple of years? The French football now is uh, lower than uh, um, four, four years ago, because uh, there is no now uh, Platini, uh, Tigana and Giras, and uh, now is a young team.